Evans post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Pats at the line ready to go. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Fields. And Ingram hauls it in. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Fields. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. From the 36, Fields. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Out of the gun, Fields. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Fields now to throw. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. So first and 10 now from the 30. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Looking left sideline, it's complete. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Stevenson. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. The Ravens take over the first down at their own 25 yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with a one-point lead, you'd have to think they'll be looking just to get this to halftime. Right side caught by Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now a first down throw, Cunningham. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Brandon Faison. And the Pats are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. 
Not the best of plays there as a quarterback. You're right-handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to get the car keys out of your pocket with your opposite hand while you're trying to run. You just can't do it. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance. He's got a man complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Terry McLaurin, 78 yards. And the Patriots will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. This time, the extra point up and good. And that'll make this a six-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Smith. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Let's go now. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And yeah, the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. On the give, this is their fullback. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The end result was brute force on brute force. But think about everything that's going on if you're playing defensive tackle. You're dealing with at least one blocker across from you, trying to deal with him, shed him, and maybe even a second one before you have to try and make the tackle on the big guy. Here's Cunningham from the gun. And looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far, because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. Stevenson now on first and 10. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Fields. And his throw is incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. A shotgun snap, Fields. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Lawrence Taylor in there to get him for a loss of nine yards. And that also leads to fourth down. But partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. Let's go. 
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. There you go, partner. That's an old school fullback right there. You need one your head. Give it to your bruiser fullback and let it get the job done. Here's Cunningham. Looking middle, and that's complete. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. Room here to run. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That's a gain of 31 with right around one minute to go in the corner. I remember from my experience as a defender, when the big fella gets the football, you've got to get on him early before he gets a chance to get up ahead of steam because once he does that, he's going to leave a lot of tacklers in his wake. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 15 more there, and they're on the roll. It's another first down. Hey, hey, check that. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Come on, come on. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. So a little extra time to ponder this third and goal as we played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Here we go. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Back to throw. Cunningham caught on the slant. Touchdown! A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens are an extra point away from taking the lead here in the fourth. Tucker now for the extra point. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. Second and 11 now. To throw his fields. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Down the numbers. There he goes. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already.
and I can't, and I can't.